Hello again, Year 10. Um, I've got my final example for you um, to do with vector proofs. And this is about proving that points are in a form a straight line or they're on a straight line or something like that. Um, so what this is about is proving that you've got two vectors that are kind of on that line that are parallel. So they're moving in the same direction and also that they've got a common point. That is explained on the PowerPoint if you want to have a look at it, but I'm going to do this example now to show you as well. So we're going to start off with, again, there is part A and a part B to these kinds of questions. And again, your part A, you will use it in part B and um, it's always the easier bit. It's the bit is kind of like the easy marks and the part B is the tricky part. So for this bit, um, we've got this diagram here. Again, this is on that PowerPoint. You don't have to kind of draw it all out if you don't want to. Um, it's completely up to you. So what we've got, um, we've got B is the bid midpoint of AC. So that and that. So that kind of indicates something to us straight away because that bit is A. That means this bit here will also be A. So it's just useful information to have straight away. We've also got that M is the midpoint of uh, PB. That's something else to remember. So our first thing we've got to do is find PB in terms of A and B. So to find PB, this here, I'm actually going to have to go this way around. I'm going to have to go P to A and then A to B. Now to go from P to A, I've actually got to go P to N and then N to A. So that's minus B minus another 2B. So that's minus 3b altogether. And then I've got to go from a to b, which is just adding on that a. So we can write that this way around as well. So we can either write it as minus 3b plus a or a minus 3b. Our next part we've got to do is show that n, m, c are on a straight line. And I think this is the easiest way to go about that. Because we want to prove that these are on a straight line, we need to prove that we've got two parallel vectors and we've got a point in common. The point in common I'm going to use is n. So I'm going to think about n to m and also n to c. Because then I would have a point in common and I'd be showing that this vector and that vector are parallel. So then they must be in a straight line. That's how I'm going to do it. Again, there are other methods. This is just one way. So I'm going to start with n to m. Even though n to c is easier, if I get n to m over with, it'll just be done. So to do n to m, I am going to have to think about, I could go, you could think of it right going around that way, or you could think going around this way. And I think the easiest way to go around is this way, because we've already got what pb is, and we know that this bit is half of that. So I am gonna go that nm is going from n to p and then adding on p to m. So n to p is easy, that's just b. p to m is half of p to b. And we worked that out last time. p to b was a minus three b. So that's b plus a half a minus 3 over 2, B. So overall, that means we're getting a half A minus a half B. Which actually, we could just write as take out the factor of a half. We've got half A minus B. Okay. Now we're going to look at N to C. Now N to C, I match this is okay because I could just go round like that. So it's going to be going N to A and then A to C, and I can do A to C all in one sweep because it's there. So N to A, because it's going the opposite way around to that, it's minus 2B, and then A to C is an A and another A, so plus 2A. So that's actually 2A minus 2B, which if I take out a factor of two, and again, we can clearly see that those two are multiples of each other. So N, C, is a multiple of n, m, therefore, oh, that's terrible y, they are parallel, and then we've got 
N is a common point. So it's gonna have to move my ball down a bit. Therefore, NMC is a straight line. Any questions, feel free to comment um, on the video or email me about them. But hopefully those three examples have added you, um, kind of added for you a little bit more structure to your thinking um, about vectors.